Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In one of our previous videos, we've seen some astronomy apps, but in this video, we'll show you some more astronomy apps which you can use during your stargazing night. The first app is Sky Safari 7. The Sky Safari 7 is an upgraded version of the previous Sky Safari app. In this version 7, you get all the features of Sky Safari 6. The app has a free version, plus version, and a pro version. The plus version will cost you $15 and the pro version will cost you $25. The plus version shows you 2.5 million stars and 32,000 deep space objects. The pro version has 100 million stars and 3 million galaxies and much more. Sky Safari 7 allows you to control your telescope through the app. It has a feature like One Sky. The One Sky is a real-time social stargazing interface. With One Sky, you can find out other people in the community who are observing the same object as you are. With this app, you can see how the object looked in the past and can see how it will look in the future. When you go to the search menu and type any object you want to observe, you can read information about that object and can get data about that object when you click data. When you click locate, it will take you to the object you want to see. In the tonight section of the app, you can see a summary of what's happening in your night sky. The second app is Stellarium. Stellarium is an award-winning astronomy app. It offers lots of features with a very minimal user interface. When you open the app first, it will detect whether it is daytime or nighttime. On the top left of the app, you will get the menu. In the menu, you can set your location and choose different sky cultures. Each sky culture has importance in the respective countries or region. You can choose any sky culture you want. Some features, such as observing the object and using the app for telescope control, are offered in the paid version of the app. The user interface of the app is very minimal. When you click on the object in your sky, you can read the information about that object on your screen. You can also zoom in on the object and see how it looks. On the bottom left, it has control features such as landscape, atmosphere, labels, and constellations. Some of these features are available in paid version only. If you want to see any object, you can just type it in the search and it will show you the object and you can read the information about that object. There are a few differences between the free and paid version. Free version is sufficient for using this app with your telescope. The third app is Sky Eye. This is one of the highest rated apps. All the features of the app are free. We found the user interface a bit cluttered compared to previous apps. When you open the app, you first have to set up your location. Either you do it manually or you allow automatic location direction. Then the app shows you a home screen where you can select to search or see a sky map. In the sky map, it allows you auto scrolling and manual scrolling. You can choose any option of your choice. When you're in sky map and if you double tap, the menu appears. You can search for any object or change the appearance to the night mode. In the time machine option, you can check how the objects look in the future or the past. If you select an object, the app shows you the exact coordinates for your alt azimuth mount and for the equatorial mount as well. You can easily locate objects by using this. Overall, the app provides all the information you need for a stargazing night. But if you're used to using other apps, then you will find the user interface of this app a bit more difficult to use. The fourth app is the Sky by Redshift. This is one of the best apps we found. The user interface of the app is excellent. When you open the app, you have to set up the location. On the top right corner, you will find an option of Sky Scanner or Planetarium Mode. In the Planetarium Mode, you can use the app to learn about different objects in the sky. In Sky Scanner mode, you have to point your phone in the sky and it will show you different objects in your sky. When you click on any object, a small menu will slide in from the top. 
with the option of flying to the object. Reading information about the object, add the object to your favorites list and turn off and on rotation for the object. When you click on the fly, it will take you to the object. The way this app takes you to the object of your destination is just amazing. You feel like you're actually going to that object. On the bottom left, you will find a menu where you can see what is there in today's sky and your location. 3D flights to various objects, and for beginners, they also have an introduction to astronomy, where they teach you different celestial objects. On the bottom left corner, you get a search option for finding any object. Overall, we loved this app, and most of the views are amazing. The only disadvantage with this app is, in the free version, you get lots of ads. So if you try it and like this app, then it's definitely worth upgrading and adding more features. There are many more astronomy apps we've reviewed on our website, so don't forget to check out the full article on our website.